Hi, my name is Jessica from the fashion and beauty blog Jeans in a Teacup, and I'm excited to share some Cezanne fall arrivals with you, as well as some outfit ideas for how to style these pieces. So stay tuned. All right, so first up we have the Palma top. This is a 100% silk tank top, spaghetti strap top, and um, I have it in black, obviously. And I picked it up because I think a black uh, silk tank is a closet staple. It will go with a lot of things and you can wear it year round. So obviously in the summer you just wear it as is. And in the fall and winter I'll be adding a blazer or a jacket over top. Um, and I'll style it like that. But yeah, it was just, um, it's part of their essentials collection I believe. So it is a closet staple. And um, I'm wearing the size four or size small, whichever one it is. And um, I think if it's true to size, I have a little bit of room on the sides, but I have a smaller um, rib cage. So if you're a standard size four, it should work for you. I also wanted to mention that I don't have to adjust the straps on this tank top. So I have the Paloma top, which I think is a similar silk tank from Cezanne. And that one was just really, long. the straps are really long. So it went down like way too low and I had to just like adjust it myself to bring it up a little higher. But this one, I don't have to adjust at all. It's perfect as it is. It doesn't go down too low. It still covers my bra and everything. So um, I like the fit of this a lot better than the Paloma silk tank. And I bought that tank um, a couple years ago, so I don't know if they've changed anything with how it fits, but I like how this tank top fits me better. I don't have to do any um, alterations on it. And it seems um, a good enough length. I also want to mention that it does have beautiful embroidery along the top, which goes to the sides. Um, and a little scallop detail here. I think it's really pretty. Um, yeah, so that's basically it. That's the Palma silk tank. All right, next up we have the Alicia skirt. This is a midi skirt and it's 100% viscose and it's got this jacquard um, print over top of the floral print. So it's kind of got a like shiny texture to it um, and the floral, the blue and white floral print is just really pretty. Um, this skirt also has a little slit in it. And I like this slit because um, it's not, the, the fabric kind of overlaps the slit, so it kind of stays closed easier. You kind of have to like pull the, the layers apart to get to the slit. So I think this is still a good skirt um, in cooler weather because it will stay pretty closed um, and you can't even really tell it has a slit it just gives it a little bit more movement which I like um, it has a side zip with a little hook and eye closure here um, it is not stretchy like I said I think it's hundred percent viscose um, and they do release this skirt in other colors and prints occasionally this was the latest release for fall I believe like it's mostly sold out, but I'm hoping they restock because this is really pretty and I think it's great for fall to winter. Um, what else? Oh, it does have pleats in it as well. So that gives it um, an interesting shape and I think it's just really pretty. It has a, little, a band here and then the pleats start. I am wearing size four and it is very tight <laughs> so I can barely tuck anything in it kind of like bunches up here because it's so tight um, I'm wearing it pretty high on my waist just because that's the smallest part right now so it, it won't fit farther down um, so this is way above my belly button um, I probably should have taken the size 6 but I wasn't really sure what size I am so if you're my measurements that you see below if you're similar to that I would definitely size up to the size six or take the size six. That's probably my true size. Um, I just thought maybe I could squeeze into the size four. I don't know. I was about to exchange it, but then I noticed that the um, size six was sold out. So um, I can't, but I still really like this skirt and I'm hoping maybe if I lose a little weight, <laughs> I'll be able to fit into it better. 
um, but it does fit. I can um, wear it out. I think it's just a little, little tight. So yeah, and it's, yeah, you can kind of see. But I really do like the skirt and I'm planning on wearing it multiple ways for fall and I'm super excited. All right, so to style this skirt and this tank top for fall and winter, I would pair it with my leather moto jacket. Um, I think you could also wear this with a heavy blazer. That would look super cute. And then um, I'm wearing my um, ankle booties. All right, next up we have the James Jumper. So this is a 100% merino wool sweater. It has like a cable knit pattern. It is stretchy. And then the coolest detail about this sweater is it has these buttons right here, which you can unbutton, which I think is really cool. The buttons are also really beautiful. They've got this um, gold backing and then like a tortoise shell front. They're really pretty. Um, so yeah, you can unbutton all of these. So I guess you could kind of do like an off the shoulder thing or you could wear a button up shirt under this and then have the collar sort of peek out the side a little bit. Um, yeah, so I really like this sweater. I will be wearing it a lot and it is warm, but um, the knit is kind of like a little bit open so you can kind of see through it. Like if I was wearing my black tank top, you'd be able to see kind of the black showing through. Um, so you might want to wear another layer under this in really cold weather. And I thought the merino wool would be itchy uh, because I am kind of sensitive to wool. I can't really, I don't really like buying wool sweaters, um, but this is surprisingly not itchy. I am not wearing anything under this and I feel pretty comfortable. Now, if you're really, really sensitive to wool, it might be a little bit itchy, so I would suggest wearing something under it. Um, but I was pleasantly surprised that it's really soft and it doesn't feel super itchy. And I believe this comes in other colors. I think at one point there was like a striped version which looked really cute. Um, but yeah, I would definitely recommend picking this up because like I said, I think this button detail is really cool. Um, and as you can see, it looks great with the skirt. Um, I would just tuck in the top a little bit and then, you know, let it sort of hang like that. And yeah, I have a nice fall, winter um, skirt look. So I'm really happy with this jumper. Um, on the site, I think it says to size down if you're in between sizes, but I went with my usual size, a size small, and I don't feel like it's too big. I like the roominess, like I said, because I might be wearing a, another shirt underneath this, like a button, um, a collared shirt, so I want that extra room. So yeah, I wouldn't size down unless you really want like a tight fit, but um, yeah, the small seems to work really well for me and I wouldn't size down. I also wanted to mention that even though this is a black skirt, I wouldn't be afraid to mix brown accessories with it, um, especially with this sweater because it has like the tortoise, tortoise shell brown in here. So I would pair it with like this croc embossed brown bag and then I'm wearing my brown loafers with this look as well. So I like the mix of black and brown. All right, last but not least, we have this cute printed sweatshirt. It is a cream color and then it has the red lettering, red letters. It says Amour Cafe Creme, Love Coffee Cream, I believe. And yeah, this is my first sweatshirt from Cezanne and it's really nice. I think a typical sweatshirt feel a nice like fleecy interior, um, you know, slightly stretchy. It's 100% cotton and I'm wearing the size small, which is my usual size. I think it says on the website to take your usual, usual size, I'm not sure. Um, I definitely wouldn't size down. I feel like sweatshirts should be roomy and this one um, I think is perfect. 
it is slightly tighter around my hip area and I definitely wouldn't size down. Um, if anything, I would size up, I think is a safe bet as well if you like really roomy sweatshirts. So I feel like I could have sized up to a medium for like um, more of like a boyfriend, boyfriend sweatshirt feel. Um, but since I wanted to wear this with skirts, I decided I wanted, you know, not a super oversized look. So I'm wearing it with um, this skirt and it gives it a sportier vibe to this feminine floral skirt and I really like it and I'm wearing my Jack sneakers also from Cezanne and these are the ones with the really thick laces and I love them so if you're thinking about getting sneakers from Cezanne I highly recommend the Jack sneakers with the eyelet detail um, they're just a nice mix of like the sporty sneaker with like this feminine um, tie detail with the little bows so yeah I've been wearing these sneakers a lot and they've been comfortable um, I even took them to wear around Greece when I was traveling and they worked out great so I think that this whole look is a really nice comfy casual look um, you know for the weekend all right that's it I hope you enjoyed this uh, mini review of some fall Cezanne pieces um, yeah, it also could have been called uh, One Skirt Three Ways. As you can see, this skirt is really versatile. I hope they bring it back in stock. If not, I think Cezanne has a bunch of other skirt sh skirts and you could do the same thing, pair it with sweatshirts, um, tank tops, or sweaters, and I think it would look cute. So um, for more fashion inspiration and more Cezanne pieces, you can always Follow me on Instagram at Jeans in a Teacup or catch me on my blog, jeansinateacup.com. So I hope to see you there. And if you have any questions, just let me know below. See you later.